we greet our dear andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 6th of march the wednesday year 2024 today let's meditate on the topic they shall be filled blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled from the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 6 The Lord who caused hunger and thirst for righteousness will never allow his children to roam around in hunger and thirst. He takes care of them and nourishes them. It is such a great blessing. Some are hungry and thirsty for salvation. They come unto the cross and plead, Lord, I eagerly wait for you to grant the confessions of sins. Help me to hate sin. and to have hunger and thirst for your righteousness and the lord graciously grants and fills them with the joy of salvation in the same manner we need to thirst and hunger after the word of god oh how i love your law it is my meditation all the day from the book of psalm chapter 119 verse 97 When we eat the word of God with such hunger the Lord makes it into a spiritual food which strengthens us like manna and sweet as honey and the honeycomb yes those who are hungry and thirsty will be satisfied if we thirst for the anointing and ask him, Lord you said if anyone thirst let him come to me and drink from the book of John Chapter 7 verse 37 I have now come to you Lord may the rivers of living waters spring forth from my heart then the Lord will surely fill our thirst with his river of great joy like Elijah if we hunger and thirst for spiritual gifts and follow after God just like Elijah followed after Elisha then the Lord will fill us with a double gift and a double blessing Lord Jesus said most assuredly I say to you he who believes in me the works that I do he will do also and greater works than these he will do from the book of John chapter 14 verse 12 in the same manner he will fill us with his blessings the scripture says he has filled the hungry with good things from the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 53 those who show themselves to be righteous those who depend on self righteousness and those who believe in traditional duties and rituals will certainly be forsaken how dangerous it is to be without hunger and thirst for god's righteousness after placing our faith on lord jesus today lord jesus is calling you with all his love and says and the bread of life He who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst from the book of John chapter 6 verse 35 whoever drinks of the water that i shall give him will never thirst but the water that i shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life from the book of John chapter 4 verse 14 Children of God hunger and thirst for righteousness cry out to God and seek his presence for he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness from the book of psalm chapter 107 verse 9 it is only the righteousness of Lord Jesus that will stand forever verse for further meditation from the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 25 for i have satiated the weary soul and i have replenished every sorrowful soul today's bible reading meditation for morning from the book of deuteronomy chapter 1 and chapter 2 bible reading for the evening from the book of mark chapter 10 verses 1 to 31 